When you log into your dashboard, you are presented with your organization overview screen, which is where you kind of get a snapshot of your organization as it's represented in Redox. On the left-hand side here, you can find your destination, which is what you'll create when you want to receive data from the EHR. We start you off with a destination called Evening Earth here. It's a development destination that comes with every organization, so you'll see one in your dashboard. Um, when you're ready to create your own, you can simply click this and make your own destination and configure it the same way that Evening Earth is configured, really. We're going to go in here and use this for our demo to show you how to set it up and how to use our development tools to receive sample data from Redox. Uh, within settings, you can find the API configuration. This is where you'll plug in your API endpoint. Um, this is the endpoint that we have here for Evening Earth. Uh, you can actually take the first part of this URL and um, throw it in your browser and actually see what that looks like. Uh, we set it up, it's simply a list of messages that you know other folks using Redox are um, sending data to. So it's just an endpoint that's kind of a catch-all for uh, developers. Uh, so once you have your endpoint set up, uh, it's it's really you know just a URL that accepts post requests uh, and validates a token. So there's more information in our Getting Started docs on how to set up that endpoint. Um, you'll set up a, a verification token as well. So this is just something that uh, you should expect to receive with these messages. So we send it with every message um, to that endpoint, uh, so you can verify that we're the ones sending you it, the message. So we'll verify and save it and looks like we're good to go. So if we go to our development tools now, this is where you can actually choose a data model to send to that endpoint. So we'll just pick scheduling here, uh, new. So this is a new appointment being created for a patient named Timothy. And we'll choose Dr. Slate at the Vista Oaks Clinic. And so what it shows here is what the message would look like coming from that EHR. Um, we made this editable here, so if you wanted to uh, use your own patient, you know, maybe you have a, um, a patient named Nico instead, um, or if you have a specific ID that you want to use, you're able to kind of change this around. So within your application, you can uh, receive you know, a specific type of patient. We'll hit send here, send that off to Evening Earth. We can watch it come through over here. This is that scheduling message that I just sent and we can actually go into the message content and check it out. So there's uh, Nico Bigsby now um, with a different medical record number. Um, going back into the dashboard within your transmissions, you're also able to see a record of all the messages sent to this destination. So you can see it here, there wasn't any errors. Um, if there were errors, you can see them down here. So that's a quick overview of how to send data from Redox to your destination using our development tools. And here are some polar bears for free.